Hi, welcome. This video is about Xinit. Somebody uh, was talking about it on Facebook and I said, look, what you need to do is, well, I actually was talking about StartX and that's how, it's, how it started. So StartX, if you know already that command, you know it's going to be a front end of Xinit. StartX script is a front end of this one. So you need to install a particular package and normally it is installed xorg xinit sudo, sudo pacman minus s. And what is the idea? I've done that in on the face when I was four or five years ago on Arch Linux with i3. So no LightGM, no any of these guys. Uh, where are they guys? Where are you guys? Here. So display managers, none of the regular things like GDM, LightDM, LXDM, SEDM, didn't install it. We always install it on all our desktops. We like to have LightDM or SDDM available. Now the point is that you don't need to. You can have a away X in it and start X to be the way to launch a particular desktop. And we have many desktops, right? So inside the Inix RC, you can say, execute me open box session. But you need to know, of course, the name then. And you have here start X, you have X in it. You can do execute here inside uh, another one, another file, but I was actually going for this X in it RC. Execute me this. So read, read and try. As you know, you're never alone. This is one of the ideas that I have here. You are never alone which means git yeah i've typed it already third attempt to make the video you know how it is and um i think this one was a good one it all matters so go and have a look and if you get it this was not a good one if you get it then you say okay i understand this so session if the session is awesome you execute awesome if the session is bsp dumb, you execute this this is not supported for uh, of by Arclix. We're not going to update these things, make, make these things. If you want to skip LightDM and SDM, etc., etc., this is a copy paste you'll need to do and figure out how to uh, launch everything. But this is a good example. This was the best example I found, and also the biggest and the longest. So the how do they know these things? How, what to execute? Right, yes, it says here start XFC4. I would have typed execute XFC4, but not start. I would have typed open box, but not open box session. So super shift enter, it's all in the naming, right? User share X session. This is what I can launch on this system, and I've just installed awesome also in it with the Arcanix tweak tool. You know, control alt E to, to, to install desktops and dot to remove it. Eh? install it so a drop down boom and it's on your machine wherever you are it's gonna work also an arch links the thing is how do they know what to launch you have to open this let's do this one and what does it say execute use the bin open box session and many people give the pathway also and I think it's not a bad idea to help him and say, that's where it is. But as you saw, I think here, it's just saying an application, right? So it's gonna work here. And here's a special kind of thing here, but it depends, trial and error, all right? As long as you know that you have the possibility then to boot into a particular thing. This is not my thing. Again, not gonna be supported on Arch Linux. It's up to you to decide, but I'm just sharing knowledge, right? So this is how I figured out what to launch, what to type. Okay. Now, LightDM does not need to be removed. It's just about a file, a package that either is running, is not running. Super simple. Let's make sure it's not running. Sudo system ctl. And these are the possibilities. So tap, tap. This is all I can do with this system CTL. That's interesting because there's much, much more. And it's so fast. The system D thing is so, so large and we'll learn gradually how everything functions. We can stop. 
something. What can we stop? Again, by pressing tab, I should be getting something. This is all I can stop. This is running. And in there is LightDM. I can stop LightDM and I can disable LightDM. And that's all you need to do. But stopping is actually already r quite radical, right? Boom, finished. I have this cursor at the top blinking. That's it. So right control F3 since I am in VirtualBox. And let's also disable it. So sudo system next time I boot up, LightDM will kick in again. It will be started again. But if I say disable LightDM, LightDM service, something happens. Removed a certain file. Go and have a look at etc systemd system. See what's in there. So the service is gone, which means if I sudo reboot, then we get a black screen. And that's how I launched my i3 in Arch Linux five or six years ago, just by typing then startx later on or startx something else. So manually like this, and then start startx. But the thing is, how should you start it? There you go. So we have, uh, this is not the way to start it. Now, I could start it like this, user bin, or maybe let's start start like that, xfce4. Now it's figuring out trial and error. What should I do? Is this what I should do? Start x? He's not happy, All right? He's not starting anything. Is it um, user bin start x? Oh, now it's responding. So that was the code that I need to launch it. And if I log out again, there we are, we're back at the TTY, right? Because we've we've done that, we've, we've skipped LightM story altogether. And, but we can launch it. And we could launch probably open box session. Let's see if that works. And there we are. Super X, look out again. And we're back into something black, right? Because uh, it might be not possible. Why would that not be possible? Because we're hanging here. What is behind here? Why is he? Might be a command that doesn't work in the start X environment and does work in the light. Yeah, possible. Not sure. Now, I really can't get out of this thing again. Escape. Oh, escape is working. Exit. So if this button is not working, then what can I do? What can I do if this is the button that is that? Super X is not working either. Then I do this. <laughs> All right, there's always a solution. P kill. Open box. Now, the other guy is I3. i3 so the num thing is not working not sure if it's i3 wm or i3 i'll just see right trial and error it does seem that i don't have a bar down here but uh well this is i3 control t yeah everything is working uh never mind the bar for some reason it's not showing let's see if this works again we get the same thing here so p kill and then we kill our i3 session. Oops. Well, that worked anyway. Uh, I didn't think i3 was in there, but. So you have your x in a thing. Now, whew, let's get rid of all that again, right? So super simple, sudo system, ctl, enable itm, please, because this is not the way I'd like to function. Sudo reboot is enough because you enabled it. And when you restart, it's gonna start, right? It's find something, a service, in the etc system d system there and it says oh look i have a service to start boom and we are back in a graphical environment and this is the way how i would like to work but it's again choices entirely up to you what you decide have fun with xenit